What's going on guys, Magdowan here with another episode of Rayclast Review where I keep you up to date on Path of Exile, cover a few Reddit posts from the preceding week that interested me, and go over some general news from the ARPG space. The Ruthless with Gold event is live, so if you want to get in on that, all you have to do is click the Join button for Ruthless with Gold in the bottom right of the Character Select screen once you've logged into the game. I do know Sergog released a video where he points out a few issues with the event, having to do with currency items and selling things with gold and itemization generally. And I've seen quite a few Reddit posts where people are complaining about the gold pickup radius and a couple other things. Maybe GGG is going to do a patch on that, but that remains to be seen. I will also say, looking at the viewership on Twitch, it does not look like it is getting the uptick that I would have expected. When I looked just before starting this recording, Path of Exiles at like 3.7k viewers, and Last Epoch's 0.9 patch launch is sitting at about 40k. And a lot of the larger Path of Exile streamers are actually playing Last Epoch right now. And so maybe that's something for GGG to keep in mind that if this event had been more interesting or more engaging for the general player base, maybe we would have seen a higher viewership. But obviously Twitch viewership isn't the end-all be-all of the game. But nonetheless, interesting to point out. And then let's jump over to Reddit and check out a few things there. So here is a Ruthless with Gold event primer that's got a ton of good information. This was posted by Blacksvin. B-L-B-C-Kizvin? Not sure. Anyway, there's tons of good information here. I'll leave a link to all these in the description below. So you've got some wiki pages to look at a ruthless database from the alpha some information about item filters official ggg pages some community pages and then just some general tips very nice post put together there so if you are getting into the ruthless with gold event this might be a fantastic resource for you and then look at this helmet this was posted by logan luther a couple days ago finally finished the number one low life mana stacker righteous fire helmet look at the mods on this so you've got the 40 percent righteous fire damage and then the minions deal 40 percent increased damage and item sells to more for vendors but look at the mods on this plus one to level of socketed int gems plus two to level of socketed aoe gems gems are supported by 25 conk effect 30 percent more damage while on low life 30 percent more le damage 15 percent increased mana 10% increased area of effect, 25% increased area damage, and transfiguration of mind. That is a monster helmet. You'll love to see it. Now, I have played a lot of RF in my time. I've even got a couple guides for, for my versions of the builds on my channel, but I've never done a Lone Life mana stacking version, so I'd be interested in getting in on that at some point. And it would also be cool to know a little bit more about how you would go about crafting something like this. But I figured I would showcase it because it just... It really looks like it's about as good as you could get. And then here is a guy, uh, what is his name? Odium Infinitus. It says, uh, since GTG announced that relics will be deleted next Sanctum run, I got this. And look at this thing. 30% increased attack damage and plus one to maximum power charges. That's, uh, that's kind of rough to get something that's that amazing at the tail end of the league like this. And so I just thought I would show it real quick. I got a good laugh out of it. And then here we have presenting the world's largest cast when damage taken. Posted by Second Cell, I believe the name is. And there must have been some kind of a graphical bug here, but you've got this uh, gigantic cast when damage taken. And the, uh, the comments section is pretty tasty. I enjoyed reading through that. So by all means, get in there and have a laugh yourself. But it's always cool to see stuff like this where it's kind of a one-off bug or, or something like that where it just makes something kind of funny happen. So I enjoyed that. And then here is a post from... It's actually not a new post. It was one that I saved a while back, but I thought it would be worthwhile to highlight it here. This is a a pretty solid guide on how to set up a custom font for PoE. And he goes through step by step. I mean, it's, it's pretty in depth here. And so if you are somebody that struggles to read the text in the game, if you're like me, you have a visual disability, this might be something that would be worth your time to look into. 
And so far as I know, I don't think you're breaking any rules or anything like that. You're not doing anything that changes any gameplay or anything like that. I guess I'm, I'm not the final arbiter on that, but I would assume it's been up for quite a while. And I read through the comments. I don't see anybody mentioning that you're going to get in trouble or anything like that. So if that's something that interests you, by all means, take a look at it. And then lastly here... I just wanted to quickly talk about the last Epoch patch 0.9 convergence patch that just launched today that has multiplayer in it. I just finished filming my complete playthrough of the campaign for last Epoch, and I had a great time doing that. I think the last episode or two is going to go out today or tomorrow, and now is a fantastic time to get into the game. They're really adding some cool stuff. So we've got multiplayer, obviously. They did a bunch of new 3D models for new and existing uniques. New armor sets for Acolyte Mage, Primalist Rogue, and Sentinel. New unique items. Balance changes, including almost every skill in the game. I'm interested in getting in there. My character is just at the beginning of Endgame. I finished the campaign, did my playthrough, and I've only had time to maybe get in there and play for another hour or two. And so it'll be cool to get in there and see what has changed with the build that I set up uh, during that playthrough. Some pretty significant performance improvements in the patch. New music and sound, new player animations and skill VFX, new Bone Golem and Manifest armor models. I saw the post that they made about those and they looked really cool. A bunch of new enemies. I think particularly they added some new ones to the beginning of the game, which is really cool. Reworked zones, new monolith maps, which I'm sure a lot of people were excited about, and then a host of bug fixes. And then, you know, I'm sure there's a bunch of other minor stuff. Obviously, there's a link there at the bottom that you can look at the full patch notes. And that is about all I've got for you guys today. Do let me know in the comments below if you're going to get into the Ruthless with Gold. Let me know how you feel about that event. Is it fun? What are the issues with it? Also, let me know if you're going to jump in and play some Last Epoch. As I said, I really did have a great time filming the playthrough for that. And so I'd be interested to know how many people that watch my PoE content are also getting in there and playing some Last Epoch. And other than that, hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time. I appreciate you.